In this video, we're going to learn how to rotate a two-dimensional array. So what does that mean? Well, let's say we have this input here. So we have this two-dimensional matrix or array, whatever you want to call it. And we start from one and go all the way to 25. And this is just an increasing order. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. Now, our result of rotating our array should be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 4, 9, and so on and so forth. So essentially, we just took this entire matrix and just turned it counterclockwise. So how do we actually go about doing this? Well, the main part of this algorithm is that we're going to create a new temporary array or our new array itself. And that's going to represent the turned matrix. And then we're going to populate that turned matrix using the contents of the original matrix. So essentially, we're going to start at a particular index in our new array. And we're going to keep going, we're going to keep iterating into other indices. And as we iterate into those indices, we'll populate those with their respective elements in the old array, in the original array. So let's take this example here. So here we're going to start at the corner, at the bottom left corner. So that's going to be the last row, but the first column. And we're going to go up the first column. Uh, and as we're going up the first column, the row is changing. So we're actually decreasing row. So this element right here will just be the first element. And then this element will be this next one. And then three will be here. And then four will be this. And then five will be this one. And so as we're going up a row in this new array, we're going right, we're, we're going straight down the row in this. And then we proceed to the next column. So in the second column, we go up the rows once again. And then in that same manner, in the original array, we are going from left to right in the second row. And so we keep going through and we keep iterating. And at some point, we're going to end up with populating 25 at the very last index. And the same will be populated on the top right in this new array. So let's see how to implement this. So we can begin by just replacing this pass with our code. So we're going to say def rotate array. So array is going to be our parameter. It's going to be our two dimensional matrix. So we'll say r comma c is equal to length of array and then length of array bracket zero. So what does this mean? Well, we know that the number of rows in our original array is going to be the length of the array itself. And then the number of columns is going to be the number of elements in each row. And so once we have this, we can create our template for our new array. So that will be new r is equal to bracket bracket none times r for blank in range c. Now, why did I do this in this way? Well, we know that when we rotate our array, our rows are going to become our columns and our columns are going to become our rows. So rather than creating a new array with the same columns and same rows, we're going to actually flip those two numbers. So R is going to be the actual number of columns and C is going to be the actual number of rows in our new array. Now, once we have this, we can begin our iterations. So we'll say for C and range C. And we're beginning with this because this indicates the columns in the new array. And remember that we're actually going upward. So we're starting at any given column. So we're starting, let's say, the first column. And for every one of those columns, we're just going up the entire column. And then we move to the next column and we go up that one and so on and so forth. So our outer loop has to be the one that iterates through the columns. And then the inner loop is going to be the one that iterates through the rows. Well, for the rows, we can realize that we start at the very last row and we work our way up for each column. So we'll say for r in range, r minus one, negative one, and negative one. So that'll help us go backwards. And now inside this, we are going to make our new assignments. So we'll say new r bracket bracket, so I'll fill that in afterwards, is equal to array bracket r c. Now what are we going to fill this in exactly? Well, we know that the number of rows and the number of columns has actually been switched for new array. So rather than saying r minus a small r minus one, we're going to say big C minus small c minus one. And then for our columns index, we're going to say small r. And there we have it. We've iterated through our entire arrays and we have populated them. So now we can just return the new array. So we'll say return new r. And that's it for this program. Let's go ahead and test this out. So here on line nine, we have our variable i is equal to rotate. And we've just provided a list as our input. So this rotate function is going to be done upon this, and then we can just print the contents of the result. So we'll say for j and i, and j is just going to be the row. We'll just print the contents of j. Let's go ahead and run this. And we see that we get our updated array as we desired. Now, let's also test this out with different styles of input. So let's say I didn't actually have 
five rows and five columns, but I had maybe three rows and five columns. So we should see that this still works for three rows and five columns. And we run this and this does still work. So now instead we have five rows and three columns. So that's it for this video and I hope this was helpful.